the third part of my video showing you how to use the mini wash machine. I hope I'm not talking too loud. I already put my soap in there and my softener. That's that's a little throw blanket. And that's all I put in there because I want I want to fill it up over over the uh, blanket, right? So I just this is my shower head what I take showers with. And if you have one, just lean it. Keep your eye on it. You can go do something, but don't let it over um, get to the tip, tip, top, because all the water will come out. Just fill it up to a limit. Make your own limit. Just over the blanket or your towels and stuff like that. This is the third part of my video. You see the water going in here. And it's going to drain over there and all the water go in there. You know, down the drain. And get you a mop, a tub mop. Um, mop to clean your tub. I, you see, I keep my tub clean, the walls and everything else. And then you could dry on this side. But right now it's filling up. And I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to stay right here to it fill up. I had to turn the fan off because it is kind of loud. So I'm going to fill it up. And I put softener in there and soap in there, right? Because my daughter is going on a trip and um, she's going to be on a, um Amtrak so she got a throw blanket so I'm going to wash it I'm going to wash it um, one time and then I'm going to rinse it one time so after it wash after you go see it wash and then I drain all the water out and then I put clear water in there let it get all the other exhale soap out of it and when I do that, if I have to do it twice, I will do it twice. But if I just have to do it one time, I do it one time. And then I put it over here in the spinner dryer. All it do is just spin your clothes. You pull that little flat thing up. You pull it all the way out. And you put your blanket inside over there. Just like your towels and stuff. Okay? Like towels right here behind my head. I washed all them okay so just showing you this is what you could do okay so I feel like it's over it right okay so I just sit this here down as long as it don't splash in your face let it down oh I have to plug it up I'm sorry okay I'm back I had to plug it up in the wall but I move my plug down here and it's a three matter of fact let me show it to you so the plug is very short you know from the machine so you have to get a stencher cord and once you get a stencher cord you're looking for a stencher cord have three plugs in it see that that three plugs yeah you got to have that kind of plug okay that kind of plug for your machine and then I plug it up way over there so you you got a cord but don't let it get wet put it under something over here this is the machine side and I'm gonna let it wash all the way for 15 minutes okay it's washing you can let it up and you can see it washing I just need the balls in there. They plastic. And you squeeze your balls out because it got a lot of water in it. So I just squeeze the balls out. It just keep the clothes so they won't tumble or tighten up. So that's why I put my balls in there. But it's really washing. And then I put it over here in the dryer. And that's all you have to do. Now this is part what? Four? Or part three. I know I just did two. And I, I thought I did it another one. I don't know. This is the end of the uh, washer and spinner dryer. And I got mine off of Amazon. They don't cost that much. And it, But you have to have patience. Now some people hook it up in here from their sink. Okay? 
That's to spin the water out over here to your right. To your left over here is bringing water in there. But I do mine from my shower head. See, this is my shower head. See, I use my shower head. And that's how I put my water in there. And I just leave it in the tub. When I'm ready to take a shower, I pick it up, dry it off, clean it out, and let make sure it's dry. And put a towel on the floor and let the exhale water drip on the on the towel and just wipe it down and I clean the inside. After you get through washing all your clothes, wash the inside out, spray it and wash it, and let clear water go through because you wash a, a lot of clothes already. And another thing, y'all, you can put a little bit of vinegar in there, not hot, hot water, but warm water or cool water, and let it wash out, okay? And your holes will be clean, too, because dirt go through them holes, all right? So you want to keep that fresh and clean. Some people put a, um, what you call it, a little net on the end to catch the lint. But I already got a net inside of there. It's connected to the washing machine. Then they got the other nets. You could just drop it inside and catch all the um, the lint and, the, and stuff in your little net. Just like the balls is going. You could drop a little net thing in there. It's portable. So you can buy everything off of Amazon. So I'm going to let it finish washing. And I come back to it. And I did it for 15 minutes. And then it, when this is the drain, and this is for the spinner, this is to spin all the water out. And when the water do come out, it still come out of them holes. When the water come from here, it still come from that one hole. So you got to turn them off when you just using one of them. Okay? Have a blessed one. Happy holiday. God bless. Push thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below to help my channel. And I have... Have a blessed day. God bless you. Happy holiday.